Hey Pandalings, this is the Black Belt Panda, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can fix a specific type of world corruption. Now the symptoms of this particular world corruption are an extended building terrain screen when you attempt to load the game, falling into the void when you enter the game, chunks loading slowly or not loading at all, and mobs being frozen or unresponsive, and this is all in single player, keep in mind. Um, so my tutorial island world here has been corrupted as you can see here uh, it's frozen on the building terrain screen and that's because it's trying to log me into a corrupted chunk um, and so it's not going to move from this screen so what we're gonna do is open this up in MC edit so if you don't have MC edit already uh, there's a link in the description below go ahead and click that download MC edit and open it up Okay, so here we have MC Edit opened up. I'm using version 0.1.6. Um, so this should work with uh, any version from 0.1.6 and up. What you want to do is load world, and from this list, select the corrupted world that you're trying to fix. Uh, in this case, I've got Tutorial Island, um, and I've renamed it to the corrupted Tutorial Island. So just double click or click load and it will bring you to wherever your character is sitting in the world um, just give it a minute to load the chunks you can see up here at the top here how many chunks are being loaded and just wait until that kind of stabilizes a little bit your screen might freeze for a little while while it's loading these chunks um, it partly depends on your draw distance as well and if you don't know how to use MC Edit, I recommend watching a uh, tutorial on MC Edit basics uh, but what you want to do is use your right mouse button to look around and use Q to fly up Z to fly down and the WASD keys to fly in any direction uh, just like you were in Minecraft and here we have a little selection box we can select items with it by using the left mouse button and dragging we can change that selection by click dragging any of these sides here um, but for now we're gonna deselect that and we're going to fly up and take a look here now this is the tutorial island and if we come around here sometimes in these corrupted worlds you will see a lot of these red boxes and a lot of the green boxes and those are mobs and entities basically all these colored boxes are different types of entities if I come into the house here you can see yellow boxes are tile entities the red ones are mobs and item frames, the brown boxes are paintings, and the green ones, like you can see down there, are dropped items. And now, if I come over here, the game was attempting to log me in in this chunk here. You can see where the player box is, it's that little blue one with the little Steve head inside, I'm not sure you can see that, but uh, this chunk somehow got corrupted as you can see and that green box is a dropped item now it looks like a single dropped item but I'm fairly certain that there are possibly hundreds if not thousands of dropped items in that one spot and that's what's causing the world to be corrupted um, that's what's causing the chunks to load super slowly and the mobs to be frozen um, your world you may be able to see tons of boxes in one spot um, or in my case it may only look like one box uh, but basically what you want to do is hit control A which will select everything as you see here we have everything selected and then if we come over here we can delete entities just click that and then it'll freeze for a moment and what it's doing is it's deleting all those entities it'll leave the yellow boxes the tile entities behind and the brown boxes the paintings but it will delete all of the mobs and dropped items from your save game from your map and once this is done uh, we're going to save it um, so I'm going to let this do its thing for a second and the amount of time it takes really depends on how big the world is and how much it has to delete okay so it just finished doing its thing now you can deselect and don't worry if you still see the green box there if you have a corrupted chunk like this one what you want to do is click on chunk control down here and then double click on that corrupted chunk might take a couple tries to 
get the right area there you go and while you've got that chunk selected um, you can click on delete which will delete the chunk and any data in it hopefully click on create and don't worry about this stuff just click OK it'll create a new chunk and if your world is a little bit older than the current version uh, the chunk may look different than it's supposed to um, but you can you know alter it yourself fix it later um, or you can manually select which version of Minecraft you want to use to repopulate that chunk if you know which one was used uh, to create the map in the first place um, but on the bright side you know your world will work again um, and I like to just go ahead and relight it and then we're going to deselect and then hit control s to save and that's going to save the world and relight everything and then you can hit control and click quit and then go ahead and reopen minecraft and now when you go back into your world it should work as you can see here i am inside the corrupted chunk um, sometimes it doesn't repopulate like it's supposed to um, in which case you should be able to hop back into MC Edit and fix it but uh, yeah it's definitely loading all the chunks like it's supposed to do and if we go over here we might even be able to find a mob Now, unfortunately since those item frames were entities um, those will be gone Oh, the paintings are gone as well but your tile entities are left behind so you do have to do a little bit of manual uh, cleaning up um, yeah my gazebo got borked before this that wasn't uh, from when I was trying to fix it so ignore that <laughs> alright so I'm gonna look around and see if we can find a mob and uh, like I said the major sign of this type of corruption is frozen mobs so one good way to know if you fixed it for sure if the mobs are moving around and if you punch them they respond so yes we've got the uh, corrupted issue fixed let's go back over to this chunk okay now in this case the chunk didn't reload because it's still deleted if we fly down into it you can see I'm not having any trouble flying around in it so we're gonna reopen this in MC edit and see if we can't repopulate that corrupted chunk okay so we're back here in MC edit we're gonna load the tutorial island and if we go around here we should be able to see there's the chunk that's been corrupted we're gonna click on chunk control double click it and then we're going to create new chunk and if you wanted to specify a different version you can select it from here um, if you have multiple versions available um, you can use flatland or minecraft server and you can even simulate the world for a few seconds after generating it which will reduce the save file size by processing all the tile text I'm really not sure what that does um, and a couple other options. You, you can look up a tutorial on these options if you want to know more about them. Um, but we're just going to click OK. Let it create the chunk. And just for the heck of it, we're going to repopulate it and relight it. And hopefully that will do the trick. So we'll deselect now. And we will Control S to save. And remember, you do not want Minecraft open while you're doing this because you could corrupt your save file even worse. So then we're just going to control quit and reopen Minecraft. Okay, so we're back here. We're going to open up Tutorial Island again. And hopefully that chunk is fixed now. So let's take a look. Nope. Okay, so we got the chunk fixed. Uh, basically all I did was exactly what I just told you to do. I just selected a few more chunks around the area, deleted them, created new ones, repopulated them, and relit them. And then when I saved and exited and reopened Minecraft, the chunk was fixed. Um, so in case you get the same problem that I just had, just select more of the chunks around the chunk that's you know, corrupted, uh, the chunk error, and you should be good to go. Um, for some reason, it repopulated very strangely. Uh, it looks odd. Uh, I'm not sure why, because I actually I selected chunks further out, as you can see here. Um, but that's just the way it did it, and uh, it's working now, so I'm just glad it's working. Um, so hopefully, you know, this helped you out and got your save file back up and running. 
and hopefully you got your chunks back to normal um, and not quite so borked as mine. Uh, but thank you for watching. If you like the video, please click the like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already because I'm always coming out with more tutorials. So thank you for watching. This is the Black Belt Panda and I'll see you in the next video.